happy therapy, boys and girls. For today's activity, we're going to broaden and strengthen our knowledge on how to tell time by logging in into the app iXL. You make a click there. Now remember, mine's going to be a little bit different because I'm the teacher. Um, yours will be easier to find. When you log into your page, you look for the standard T for time. So you will scroll down and you will click on time standard number two. Your goal for today is to state the time that's given on the analog clock. Okay. Um, you're going to be given a digital times as uh, possible answers, but what I want you to do is um, try to identify before you, you select, okay? We know that the shorthand will tell you the hour. The longhand will tell you the minute. So first, always identify the hour. I notice that the shorthand is pointing within the realm of six. So the hour is six o'clock. If I had a pen, boys and girls, I would note it down here. So it'll be six o'clock. And the minute hand is pointing directly at minute. Oh, it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So 6, 30. Find my answer, click it, and you click submit. Again, you look here and you look at the time. First, always identify the hour. I notice shorthand is pointing directly at 6. Easy breezy, 6. And the long hand is pointing to right on 12. Now, when I show you the, in the video from yesterday's lesson, I have mentioned that it could either be, if it's pointing directly at six, we know the starting point is zero. So it's six o'clock. Boom. There it goes. And then you click submit. Again, identify the hour and then the minute. I notice the shorthand is pointing in the realm of 10. It's not exactly 11, it's in the realm of 10. So the hour is 10 o'clock and the minute falls on, hmm, let's see. This is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 10, 45. And you click submit. So boys and girls, Practice this standard until you get 100%. That the next standard I want you to practice will be the following one. So after T2, it will be T3. All right. So what time does the clock show? If you're still having trouble, click where it says learn from an example. Okay, and it tells you step by step how to solve it. Um, here again, I remember from the previous lesson. Look at the shorthand. Um, the shorthand falls under the realm of eleven. It's not quite twelve. It's eleven. So eleven, and the minute hand. Now remember, count by fives: five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. 35, 40, 45, 11, 45, and then you submit your answer. What time does it show? Always identify the hour. Notice right here, it is in the realm of 12. It's not quite one. It's pointing in the realm of 12, so 12. And then the minute's right there. So let me count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20. Again, always identify the hour. It falls in the realm of six, so it's six. The minute is right here, perfect. Let me count by five, starting right here with the one. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So boys and girls, practice this skill. I believe in your app, you are allowed to, um, to write on the actual screen. Since I have the teacher model, I cannot write, but you can practice labeling the clock as you saw. Ideally, that's what I want you to do. So here, this one's tricky. Notice the shorthand is pointing in the realm of nine. It's not exactly 10, 
is pointing in the realm of 9. So if I look here, it's directly on 9. And then you look at the minute. It can count by 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 9, 50. Okay, boys and girls? So continue practicing these skills. You will practice T, T2 and T3. When you're done, boys and girls, I'm able to log into my account and I can see your score. So make sure you do your best. And if you're having trouble, let me know and I will assign more skills to help you. Okay, so look here, boys and girls. It tells me who's been practicing. Well, I'm not going to show names. What skills are practicing, what skills are doing well, and what skills they need help. So make sure you log in and you do your best. Good luck, everybody. See you on Friday. Bye.